to me about cost of creative. You know, where do you, what's the conversations, the things you're thinking about going into 2021 around the notion of production cost? That was a big topic over the last six to nine months. I've heard from a lot of people, just the, the, this, the, the brief to the idea, all those meeting hours. Is that a conversation that you're going into with 2021? I think in 2021, we continue to want cut through. Mm. And I think what is in today's world, you can't necessarily associate cut through with cost. And Gary, you know this in what you do. There's so many ways to disrupt without great cost. And there are ways that you need to disrupt that take a lot of cost, depending on what the idea is. So we are putting a currency on the idea and cut through. And in that cut through, it's really authenticity. And sometimes, and again, Gary, this is what you do. And to get that cut through, many times authenticity, it's user generated content. You know, it's someone with a camera. So it's less about policing production cost. It's really driving impact overall, really using the full stream of tools and assets that are available to us. Cost of creative. What's, what's your hot take on that? Um, so two pieces of it. Please. Storytelling, still mm. even more important now than Always. before. Always. And I do find that when you you put more into the story, that people get a lot more out of it. They want that extra. So I don't mind cost in that area at all. I do think- do you, cons- you consider that the ideation part or do you consider that the actual making of it part? Both, because I think sometimes in production values are important in telling the story in a really good way. I mean, we're asking everyone to get so much better at telling everything visually. You know, you don't want to necessarily read or see a chart, something you have to tell it visually and that requires some, some potentially more. But on the other hand, we're also looking at how are we so much more efficient? One piece of content goes in a thousand different places. And so, and I'm sure everyone's saying the story, the minute we do any story and we're doing anything, we have to envision that it's gonna go in a hundred places, not just in one medium. Um, And I think that's where we come back to get the efficiencies out. The other thing is we learned in the pandemic when everyone had to shut down production 100%, that the more we had in the bank that was prepared, that was ready to go, the better off we were. What about OTT commercials? You know, the, 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 this really interesting evolution of Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, Hulu, you know, obviously um, not every OTT has commercial infrastructure, but is that something you're spending more time thinking about? Because I, I see that eating up a ton of the commercial television space, but it has more DNA in Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, like buying and creative. Has that hit your radar? Is that a debate internally? A hundred percent. We're spending a lot of time on that, Gary. Like yeah. we're finding, A, that like those spaces are like, Deeply gold. Me- de- gold, deeply measurable. Um, like Why only underpriced because of demand? Yeah, correct. Supply, correct. you know, demand yeah. issues. Correct. That's good for you. Correct. Does that put challenges on your creative agencies to make five commercials that are quality for the price of what the kind of things you were accustomed to years ago? Has that pressure on the cost of creative? I mean, this all goes to one place. Creative's too expensive in the advertising world. Are you starting to have those conversations? Yeah, I think we're trying to figure it out. Yeah, I don't I don't know that we've cracked that particular thing yet because I yeah. do think there's there's things that we want to do at a very high fidelity, right? So we, As you we should. which so but then I think the question is like, does it need to cost that much? It does not. That, to me, that is to me that is you, can exactly a, right. you can make a Super Bowl spot for a hundred thousand that could right. be bonkers amazing. That's right. You could. That's right. The industry That's has decided you can't. That's right. And, I, and exactly. I wonder with your incredible agency background and being in a more contemporary company, the reason I think this series, you can see my energy is high, A, because I respect you from afar and I'm excited to get connected, but B, I think you having one foot in both places leads to the marketers that I think are gonna create change. I came so from the other place that people viewed my opinions on this as not right, wrong, right. bullshit, or, or you know, uh, disruptor. I'm like, no, 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 this shit's practical. Yeah, it's just true. And I think watching great, uh, marketers come from agencies of that kind of fidelity to go into companies like this are gonna be the ones that actually drive the change. Make sense? Yeah.